Oh, let's talk about this situation. Whitney Rose, 617, Boston, uh, recently posted two TikToks. Uh, the first TikTok was a real-time reaction to her speaking to a sales contact. She's a vendor for a company asking for a female to be her point of contact in the future because she was sent a text chat, I believe, a team chat, where it inadvertently included, as she called it, locker room talk amongst the male sales guys, which is really just a euphemism for sexual harassment. And Whitney also generously posted the response from another male about the incident. Let's talk about this response. These two videos clearly resonate with a lot of people, particularly women. I think two of the reasons are one, a lot of women have gone through very similar experiences in the workplace. The second reason could be that a lot of women who have experienced this type of behavior in the workplace might like the schadenfreude of seeing a woman take control of the situation. I have never been tagged more in a post than this one. I, people asking me to deconstruct uh, the response here, the apology from the head, the VP of sales. I don't need to because Whitney Rose did a very good job. So you need to just watch her response to it. She's absolutely right. He didn't really apologize. He did in the first graph, but in the end, all he talked about was how robust the business was. Also how he could not provide a female to work with her because there were no females on staff. And also not addressing the technology behind it. And the most important part that he failed to mention at all was the sexual harassment. But really, Whitney did the best job because in the end, she mentioned the term misogynistic pricks. And when someone puts that in at a TikTok response, there is nothing more than I can add other than this. And here's where I come in. As someone who works a lot in the online public relations crisis space, this is a watermark. Everyone who works in corporate comms or in business right now needs to pay attention to what's happening because the PR crisis has shifted. Usually it comes from the perpetrator, okay? We're all accustomed to someone doing something wrong and then they have to pay for it in a public shaming. Nowadays, so many of these crises start with the victim. And when the victim speaks up and posts, it connects with other victims. That is a very powerful PR crisis because you have no control. This is the future of a PR crisis.